Welcome to Bible 180. Nehemiah. Jerusalem is now kind of like the Wild West or the projects, receiving little government aid or protection. Nehemiah is a cupbearer to King Artaxerxes, which is kind of like holding a cabinet position. He hears that Jerusalem's walls are a wall and the gates are torn down. He mourns, fasts, and confesses that the Israelites have failed to live up to their end of the covenant. Yet he asks Yahweh to remember his promise to Moses that after scattering his people, he would gather them back together. Artaxerxes grants Nehemiah's request to return to Jerusalem to rebuild. Nehemiah travels 764 miles, inspects the walls, and convinces Jerusalem to start rebuilding. Nehemiah, as a court official, is very thorough in recording the returning exiles and the building plans. Jerusalem is dangerous and disorganized. However, Nehemiah is capable, assertive, and well-connected. Plus, he has the moxie to complete this project. Sanballat and Tobiah are influential regional leaders who are Gentiles who oppose and mock Nehemiah's plan. They threaten to attack and disrupt it. However, people in, in Judah grow discouraged and start complaining. However, Nehemiah he organizes a defense system. Workers completing this project carry arms, and Nehemiah personally patrols. Nehemiah hears complaints that rich returning Jews are extorting poor returning Jews, and he storms in and demands restitution. Nehemiah spends his own resources to support the rebuilding projects, and he feeds those in need instead of asking for government help. Tobiah and Sanballat try to entrap and intimidate, but Nehemiah outwits and outworks them. When the wall is finished, Ezra gathers all the people together to read the Law of Moses to the whole assembly from daybreak until noon. Jerusalem builds booze for the religious festival of booze, which celebrates that Yahweh saved the Israelites from Exodus and gave them a home when they were wandering in the wilderness. The people confess their guilt because they've heard the covenant and realize just how far they have fallen short. Nehemiah chapter 9 is a, a stupendous summary of Israel's history. It highlights how God was slow to punish but quick to restore. It also appeals to Yahweh's mercy and Jerusalem promises to marry only faithful Jews and take care of the temple. There is a grand rededication for the rebuilt walls including choirs and purification rites. Nehemiah returns to Persia while he's gone. Tobiah worms his way back in and even has a place in the temple. But Nehemiah returns and kicks him out. He also shuts the gates to Jerusalem on Saturday to stop business and he gets real heated with those who have married non-Jews. Although he has punished his people, Yahweh is still taking care of them, sending Nehemiah. Nehemiah is a passionate and straightforward lay leader. He proves it's possible to be faithful both to a king who is of a foreign country and also to Yahweh. Boundaries feature prominently in this story. Jerusalem builds walls to keep out their enemies, many of whom are the same people who have antagonized them ever since Exodus. It also focuses on staying faithful and marrying only non-believers. Nehemiah is a book about focus. Focus on Yahweh and aiming to do what is right in his eyes despite opposition and creatively applying and pooling your resources to do so.